59. Calculate delta G notch for each of the following reactions from the equilibrium constant at the temperature given. So in this case, we have carbon dioxide gas, CO2 gas plus hydrogen gas, H2, will yield carbon monoxide, CO gas plus water vapor, H2O gas. They told us that we had a temperature of 980 degrees Celsius. Woo, that's hot. With an equilibrium constant of 1.67. Now, from the equilibrium constant, a K value, we want to find a delta G, the free energy, the Gibbs free energy. When you have an equilibrium constant and you're solving for delta G, only one formula should be going off in your mind. Now, there's two variations of it. Since we're trying to solve for delta G, the easiest way is to use this formula right here. It's delta G equals negative RT ln K. Here's the delta G and here's the equilibrium constant. Let's just run through these variables. The negative is in the formula, but the R value is a standard. The R value is always going to be 8.314. So that's something that you have to memorize, right? Now, I like to use 8.314, but if I use 8.314, that's joules per mole times Kelvin. That's going to come into play in a little bit. But since it has Kelvin in here, that kind of gives you an idea as to what the temperature we have to use. They gave us Celsius. The temperature units have to match. So before I plug in 980, I have to convert the Celsius into Kelvin. Celsius to Kelvin, plus 273. More specific, it's plus 273.15, which is what I will do. If you want to just plus 273, let's see how similar our, our answers are at the end. I'm just going to go to Calci. I'm going to say 980 plus 273.15. And I get 1,253.15. And that, maybe I could just bring this up. And maybe I'll just manipulate that arrow. That's the Kelvin that we're going to use. Equilibrium constant. I just wrote a K here. So in this case, they gave us the, you know, the pressure equilibrium constant. But there's so many equilibrium constants. There's Kp, there's Kc, there's Ka, there's Kb, there's Ksp. It does not matter what K you're using, it just has to be an equilibrium constant. So in this case, they gave us Kp, great, I'm going to put in 1.67. Let's fire away, plug it all in. Delta G equals negative, the R value is 8.314, that's the standard. Temp is the 1,000... 253.15, and then ln is the function on the calculator, so it's great to have a TI-84, which is what I use. I love my TI-84, its name is Calci. You've probably heard me from time to time talking about it. But that's the calculator I use, and now it's on the screen, so you can see exactly what I'm plugging in. Delta G equals, plug this all in in one shot. It's all being multiplied. The calculator will understand what function to do first and then multiply. So negative 8.314 times one, actually I can go in and grab that number just to make sure I don't make any mistakes, times ln of 1.67. Close the parentheses up and press enter. Negative 5,342.9. And this would be in units of joules per mole because those were the two units that were not canceled. Keep in mind that the Kelvin was canceled and the equilibrium constant never has any units. Now, generally, delta G values, since these are so big, usually you will see a delta G in kilojoules per mole. So it's just easy to just convert from joules to kilojoules. Joules to kilojoules, all we got to do is divide by 1,000, right? Or move the decimal over to the left three spots. So I'm just going to divide by 1,000 just to show you guys. And now it becomes an, a better manageable value. Delta G for the whole entire reaction is spontaneous. It's negative. And we should have three sig figs because I used this as my Kelvin value and this has three sig figs, that's the lowest. So I'm gonna say negative 5.34.
kilojoules per mole. And that is the final answer. That's it. What do you think? Didn't even care about what formula they gave us, right? What balance equation? Just the temperature, the equilibrium constant, plug it in, be done with it. There you go. Thank you so much. Let me know in the comments if this helped you or not. Just gets word back to me that I'm, you know, doing my job right here. Um, tell your friends, tell your classmates about this cool channel. Thank you so much. I'll be talking to you soon. Bye-bye.